Hey, what's going on guys? Why Gaming back again with some more Stranded Deep and in today's video we are doing some quick tips and tricks. The last video was really did really well, so massive thanks for that. Make sure you subscribe and drop some likes. There's plenty more Stranded Deep to come. Let's get into it. So you will start off on your little raft like this. Your paddle is placed on the side here. What you want to do is obviously just head straight over to land. It's easy to navigate this thing. Don't beach it. It doesn't end well. So you go nice and close to the shore. But the one thing you want to make sure you do with your raft, whenever you travel to different islands, if you're using this one, is stick your paddle back on the side so you don't lose it. If you lose it, you're stuck really. you just got to float around. So, pop your paddle back there and pull this in. Make sure you pull it in, because if you leave it out, it can uh, float off and then you lose your raft, which is not good. And also in here, you've got some little bits, some rations, a compass, and a bandage. Now I'd leave them in there for when you go on your travels, uh, just to keep you there. And with the rations, they're always good for later on, just to be on the safe side if you start to run out. And perfectly there, our SPF, which means we're getting way too hot, has gone up. Now the way to cool this down quickly is to head into the water. Now you head into the water and it will start to climb pretty quick. Make sure you keep an eye on your watch as well. That's also very important because if you don't, then you know you don't know what you're doing and you'll probably start to die. Uh, it does beep when there's something wrong. So mine will beep at the moment because I've got no water. There we go. And our health is low. So, with that all being done, we're going to move on to a bit of food now. So when you're hungry... What you want to do is run around the beach. Obviously, this goes through a lot of this in the first tutorial. So it, it's pretty self-explanatory, but we'll just show you anyway. And then you climb your palm tree. Climb the palm tree. When it lets me climb the palm tree. Never mind, we can just pick the coconut up anyway. Little coconuts. And you want to hit them with either an axe or a stone tool. Uh, both very easily available. And that's how you get your water. And then you can hit the hit them again, and it will bring back uh, some food for you. But don't go nuts on them. Don't try and demolish them all because you will be sick. And once you've be, you've had all your dinner, you're sorted. You want to sort of craft one of these bad boys, the water stills. It's always good just to have them. Uh, it's just nice for when you do run out of coconuts. So next up, we have got the leaves, palm saplings, and yucca trees will regenerate. So whenever you see them, always hit them. You need the um, the leaves from them for a lot of crafting. So the lashings is one thing you use a lot of. But finding the fibrous leaves can prove a little bit difficult when you've cleaned that whole island. thing that comes back is these yucca plants here. Uh, Another thing that regens is the yucca plants here, which are good for the leaves as well. You get four leaves per each tree, and then it's just basically the leaves will sprout out the top when it's ready. Just make sure you get them as soon as they spawn, because then it's quicker for the respawn to come back in. And that is pretty much one of the only resources. There are a few, but there's not many that actually respawn back in. So things like palm trees and stuff like that, once you've chopped them down, they are gone. They don't come back. But another good thing with storage, because obviously you don't have much space, is you can plonk stuff down. On my island, I've got a little container. And you can just plonk stuff down anywhere, and it will stay, which is really good. It's quite handy, so you don't really need to worry about losing things. I mean, I've just chucked everything in the container for now, but you can obviously, when you're, you've got your own little island, just plonk them around nicely and make it look pretty. Instead of just dumping your stuff around, you can also find these containers just dotted around. You can pick them up, carry them, and if you're full, you can also drag them around, which is quite cool. Then you can just place them anywhere you want, and then they store three items. It's not much, obviously, but it's 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 three items. You know, it's better than nothing. Uh, some items stack as well, so it works out quite well. If you've got a lot of these, you can have a nice amount of storage, really. And because you can carry them around, if you've got a little raft like that one, you can plonk them on there, and it just 
gives you a bit more room when you're looting other little islands. But do be careful if you get attacked by a shark or you're out in heavy weather, these things will fly off. They can fall off the edge of your raft, so just be careful and bear that in mind. Also, make sure you sleep. Sleeping and saving, always good. And obviously when you die, you come back in at your next save, unless you're playing with permadeath on, then yeah. So just keep that in mind, make sure you sleep a lot. Uh, it also is good for removing night time, because you don't want to be out in the water at night. You can't see anything. You want to be, when the sun's brightest in the sky, that's when you want to be in the water, because you can see a little bit. It's quite safe. You can see the sharks come in. You can see any poisonous animals that are coming towards you and uh, move out the way, really. So, just my advice, loot in the day, sleep at night, or craft at night. You don't have to sleep every night. It doesn't really make much difference, but it is good for you. So, one thing you've got a lot of on the island is wood. And one thing you don't have a lot of on the island is weapons. So, use the wooden sticks to craft yourself spears because they are you can retrieve them again and they don't really wear down very quickly. So, when crafting, keep keep that in mind, you know, things the durability. You can see that when you go into your menu and when you've got an item that has durability, it comes up in the middle there. So, this got 48.5. Uh, take that in mind for crafting as well. So if you've got to build a workbench or something similar, um, the plank bench or whatever it's called, you need a refined axe. Now they're quite hard to make. You need leather for that. We'll go. We'll go into a few uh, bits like that in another video. This one's just a quick basic one. So when you want to build something like that, use the tool to its effectiveness. Get get it down to one percent durability and then craft the table or whatever it is with it. Um, also, when you're crafting, you don't actually need the item in your inventory. You just need to be near it. So I have no wood in, on me. I can still craft the spear though by standing next to it. As you can see, there's nothing in my inventory apart from the axe and the binoculars. And then yeah, it's just quite easy for when you've got a load of um, bits and bobs that you can't actually you know, use. So thanks for watching today guys, that was just a few quick tips. The plan for this game is to play it quite heavily and we will have more videos later on down the line about more um, advanced tips and crafting and things like that. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you stick around, drop a like, subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching, we'll see you again in the next one. Peace!